Mayo fought Mike Burnett, that nobody had ever seen Burnett before, but he came in storming. So this, this has all the potential to be, one of, again, one of the best UFC cards ever put together by John Peretti. Everyone back here is very excited, and I can't wait for this thing to get started. Well, it is obvious that Joe is also very excited about the evening's event here in the Deep South, Mobile, Alabama. The ways to win in the UFC by knockout, by submission, which is when a competitor taps his hand on the mat or his opponent's leg. If the referee stops the contest because a fighter cannot intelligently defend himself, if the corner throws in the towel by disqualification, and if time expires, three judges will render a decision. A great card this evening, and as we mentioned, the middleweights really dominating the card here tonight at UFC 17. Redemption here in the Mobile Civic Center. We are glad to have you along. Our bout time this evening for the alternate matchup will be 12 minutes with a three-minute overtime. Chuck Liddell getting set to take on Noe Hernandez, the two-time Michigan Golden Gloves champion. The middleweight alternate fight. And Noe Hernandez said, after seeing the UFC for the first time, that I've been fighting all my life, but the UFC is truly the ultimate. He considers himself primarily a boxer, but has trained in submissions for the last year and a half, recently with Pat Militich, our UFC 16 lightweight tournament champion, 24-year-old Noe Hernandez. Born and raised in Lansing, Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. Noe awesome. in, uh, in the ring, it's, there's a cat and a dog. Cat will always scratch and move and have the speed. The dog always want to trap the cat in the ring, bites his head off, tear it off. I want to be the dog. That is his approach to mixed martial arts competition. No, he was trying to indicate there that he'd rather be proactive. You don't want to be somebody <laughs> that goes out there and just kind of paws around. You want to be the person that's going out there with intent. Certainly, you'd best be focused when that bolt slams down on that door of the octagon. It's just you, your opponent, and the referee. Closer look at the discipline description of Noe Hernandez, a 3-2 and two record overall in mixed martial arts competition. Powerful puncher coming from his background in boxing. Been training with Pat Militich, lightweight tournament champion, so he's improving on his submissions. And will he be vulnerable to perhaps Chuck Liddell's kicks? Liddell possessing some Muay Thai background, kickboxing background. Yeah, kickboxing and Muay Thai, a kickboxing record of 18 wins, just two defeats. Chuck Liddell from Santa Barbara, California. A self-trained young man managed by Charlie Anzalone, the former USMTA North American Heavyweight Champion and IKF National Heavyweight Title winner. Has not had a lot of work in submissions, but the 28-year-old very confident that he can stick to his game plan. Here's a guy with an accounting degree who just simply loves to compete and is happy to be in the UFC. Yeah, I have a college degree and my parents, uh, they think I'm crazy because uh, they're like, well, what are you doing? Why are you fighting? Why don't you get, why don't you get a real job? I'm a, I was an accounting major. I graduated with a decent GPA, and they just really expected me to go get an accounting job. I don't see myself sitting behind a desk, so I think I'm nuts. He was inspired at 12 years old to take up martial arts after watching demos after Kung Fu Theater. Good kicker and puncher coming from his kickboxing and Muay Thai background he wants to avoid takedowns but one thing about him that isn't in here is that he wrestled all through high school and college particularly at San Luis Obispo got to question his endurance but I have a feeling he's going to have what it takes to get in here in terms of stamina interesting matchup Muay Thai kickboxing in terms of his discipline versus boxing UFC 17 redemption is just about underway. Check out the tail of the tape for our first matchup tonight between Noe Hernandez, the 26-year-old boxer, and Chuck Liddell, who has a definitive size advantage of four inches. They both come in as middleweights at 199 pounds. As always, we're honored to have as part of our crew the veteran voice 
of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, working his seventh UFC. Here is Mr. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. We are live from the Mobile Civic Center in Mobile, Alabama. Tonight, SCG Sports presents an international telecast featuring 12 of the world's most elite fighters. They will compete in seven bouts, beginning with a middleweight tournament, two heavyweight super fights, and our UFC 17 main event. This will all take place in the world's ultimate testing round, the Octagon. Mobile, Alabama, prepare yourselves for a night of redemption. And now, for the thousands in attendance, and for those of you watching around the world, it's time to begin the Ultimate Fighting Championship! is a middleweight alternate bout. The winner has a chance to advance to the finals. Beginning with the fighter standing to my left, he is a two-time Michigan Golden Gloves champion with a mixed martial arts record of three and two. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 199 pounds. Hailing from Lansing, Michigan, please welcome Noe Hernandez! And his opponent standing to my right. He is a kickboxer and a Muay Thai fighter with a professional record of 18 and 2. He stands 6 feet, 2 inches tall, and weighs in at 199 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, Please welcome Chuck Liddell. And when the action begins, our referee for the evening in the next three bouts is Joe Hamilton. Joe Hamilton working his 13th UFC, our alternate referee once again this evening from Provo, Utah. Nine years in the Los Angeles Police Department, a black belt himself in Taekwondo. Our first matchup, as all the matchups this evening will be, they'll take place with a 12 minute regulation time and a three minute get overtime. Let's get, get it ready to get, get underway. Ready. Here we go. Our first match of the evening, Noe Hernandez, Chuck Liddell. Ooh, mean intent on that big punch by Noe Anderson, taking him down is Chuck Liddell. Quick takedown, but you could see that Noe Anderson wanted it all there. Doing a nice attempt at an arm bar was Noe An Noe Hernandez. Andes. It's interesting. He has considered himself primarily a boxer, Jeff. But as we mentioned, he's trained for the last year and a half. A lot on submissions with Pat Militich. In the corner, there's blood coming from Liddell's. It appears to be just about the right corner of his mouth. Might be near the edge of his nose as well. Couldn't see what really caused the, the cut. Let's go, let's go. Stay busy, stay busy. And Liddell in a side mount. They're in close quarters now. Right up to the octagon fence. Both guys with excellent skills on their feet. The question is, who has learned more on the ground? They continue to battle. Back to the feet. And this is Liddell's kind of turf. Oh, a good right hand by Noe Hernandez. Now they're back to striking distance. And delivering shots, Hernandez, the two-time Golden Glove champion. He connected with the left. He continues to win a box, and back down to the ground it goes. 
Nori Hernandez really has shown some skill here on the ground. He just lifted his knee there to keep Liddell from getting to the mount. Had that attempted arm bar early stay busy, on. Stay busy. See if Liddell can control him here, get to the mount position, and apply some strikes of his own. Again, I think that's the nose that is bleeding. But no fighter seems busy, worse for the busy, wear, busy, although both have already connected with strikes. Noe Hernandez again on his way up with the left. And each of his punches really have some mean intent on him. Remember, Liddell is the kickbox. Oh, brought it up high and he connected. Perfect example there, Jeff. And it seems to slow Noe Hernandez down in terms of him coming right in and trying to throw power bombs. Hernandez has delivered a good shot to the left eye already of his opponent, Chuck Liddell. See a little swelling there. Liddell now using his knees. He's got the Muay Thai Stay back. Stay busy now. on the fence. Stay busy on the fence. One hand. Stay Hernandez busy. is preventing knees from coming up into his midsection. Oh, almost over the top of the shoulder to the head. Liddell not afraid to try to strike high with the legs. Not at all. And that comes from the Muay Thai background. Kickboxing background that he possesses. USMTA North American Heavyweight title. IKF National Heavyweight title. So it's going to be whether Noe Hernandez can... Oh, a nice little move there. Hernandez delivering from the top. And right back up is Liddell pinning him up against the fence. This is two basic strikers going after one another. Even though Liddell has used a couple of takedowns to bring Noe Hernandez down to the mat, but he's been unable to mount him and mount any kind of real offense. Oh, he slid through and almost connected with the right uppercut. Three minutes, 43 seconds into our first matchup of the evening, the alternate middleweight fight. Noe Hernandez in the red trunks and Chuck Liddell in the black trunks. Noe Hernandez should lift that leg up when it's being struck. Keeping it planted is only going to make it worse for him there. Way to work it. And even though each one of those kicks aren't going to knock Noe Hernandez down accumulatively, as we saw again when Marco Huas did it to Paul Varlin, you can chop down a big tree. This alternate fight will be 12 minutes and no overtime period. Both fighters have delivered and landed strikes so far. He's lifting the leg now. He's seeing it coming and he's able to defend it. Oh, he almost stepped through at that time. Hernandez was waiting. Scampering away again, Chuck Liddell. Oh, he tried to go high. And big, Hernandez backed off. Big mouse under Liddell's left eye. Jam, jam right he has been tagged a couple times by some of those punches. Both of these guys sizing themselves out now. Liddell is tall, six foot two, so he can really reach out with those legs, Jeff. It just seems that Noe Hernandez hasn't been affected by any of those punches or kicks, really, even though he's been hit up high with those kicks. He tried to counter again. Now he's waiting for Liddell to come in with the leg. Ooh. Trying to go. You would think this would have an effect. And then, oh, that's a oh, that big right hand. And he, he nodded saying, you got me with that one. Boxer against kickboxer. This is one we haven't seen a lot. It's going to be the kicks and the knees that are going to determine this if Liddell wins. And it's going to be whether or not he can avoid that big power punch that will determine whether Noe Hernandez will win. Oh, and now the power punch attempted by Liddell. Both these guys look happy to stay on their feet. Watch for the knee, watch for the knee. Oh, and he chooses to go down. Noe Hernandez is fixing it. He wanted to bring it down to the ground. Yep. Interesting. We're at the halfway point of our 12 minutes. Alternate middleweight fight. Conditioning now is a huge factor. Boxing, you get minute breaks after three minute rounds. Going all out, no break is a very difficult thing for anyone. Chuck Liddell looks in excellent condition, too. He is a sculpted athlete. Hernandez, 24 years old. Chuck Liddell, 28 years old. UFC debuts for both competitors. And an impressive entrance into the octagon. Pace is slowed. Seems as though Noe Hernandez might be a little arm weary. He hasn't been throwing those big bombs like he did throughout the first few minutes of this fight. There it comes back to it. Both guys trying with the strikes. A 
different hey, type of jumping. fatigue when both competitors stay on their feet, Jack. Now, I really like what Liddell did there. He faked the punch and he came in with the leg kick. He did it again there and he got two good leg kicks in. But they don't seem to be carrying any real snap to him. No marks on the back of Noe Hernandez's legs. That one delivered, though. I remember seeing in earlier UFC's Maurice Smith with those kicks. Being compared to a baseball bat coming across your leg at 85 miles an hour. And there's a big mouse under Noe Hernandez's left eye now. He got high with that kick. That might have been from the kicks. Or that big right hand we saw Liddell hit him with. Seven and a half minutes in. Oh, and it seems that Hernandez is tired. He had to put the hands on the hips. That's a clear indication of fatigue. This could be a guillotine choke now. Liddell looking. Oh, and a good knee. The Muay Thai technique. Again, he goes high. Hernandez tried to counter, and Liddell stepped back. He's arm weary. He's trying to shake it out of his arms. He's trying to get some feel back, so he has snap. Hernandez suffering from fatigue now. Let's see how Liddell is able to take advantage of it, see if he can get those fakes in, hit him in the legs, and come back up high. Stay with it, gentlemen. Stay on it. Stay on it. Chuck Liddell with an accounting degree. Trying to keep track of the strikes and hoping the judges will consider the fact that he has landed more. Hernandez had the early advantage. Liddell has been very technically sound in the last two to three minutes. That very time period in which you had mentioned Hernandez has become more fatigued. Slowed it right on down. This is great opportunity for Chuck Liddell if he can just mount some offense. He seems to be slowing down now instead of taking advantage of the situation. Michael D. Pasquale, Judo Gene LaBelle, and Tony Molino. Once again, our judges this evening here from the Mobile Civic Center. Another good kick. First match of the night, a good one. Oh, Hernandez tried to deliver the right, and Liddell stepped away from it. Just like boxing, when you go to the body, you can set up the head by kicking to the legs. You can set up the kick to the head. Attack, attack, attack. Do it now. Under three minutes now remains. 12 minutes, no overtime for our alternate matchup. Zell has an opportunity to really capitalize here on the inactivity of Hernandez. And you can see Hernandez just can't get out of the way of those kicks. These two guys are spent. It only takes one quick hit to end a matchup inside the octagon. The UFC, where the big boys come to play, and their playpen is the octagon. Just over two minutes now remains. You might think this is a defensive battle, but it is not a defensive battle. It is a fatigue battle. When fatigue enters, you hesitate. When you hesitate, you fail to react with what you've trained to do. You take the punch again, and goes for the kick. It's very smart. Attack, attack, attack. Just he should be more active with it. If you could put more of those together, you can then really start to open up Noe Hernandez, force him into panic, throw some bad punches, and catch him. It's almost a respect for each other's striking ability here, isn't it? I think it's more fatigue. I truly think it's all fatigue at this point. Noe Hernandez really seems arm weary. You saw him trying to shake his arms up. He's behind him. See if he'll go rear naked. Show. Oh, he delivered a nice right uppercut. hand. Yep. Nice uppercut under the arm of Noe Hernandez. Utilizing the knees again on Noe Hernandez. Remember, strikes is one of the criteria the judges use to render a decision. Oh, good. It's being delivered here. Hernandez answers with a quick right. But it was a couple of knees there that really, really caught Hernandez that forced him to try to throw a punch. Just over a minute remains. Let's go, let's go, gentlemen. Let's go now. One minute. Let's go. Attack, attack, attack. You gotta stay on it. Stay on it. Chuck Liddell had a great series right there. He racked up some, some good points with strikes. And oh, and a right hand by Noe Hernandez. He caught the ankle. Liddell couldn't retreat, and he popped him on. The criteria the judges use, aggressiveness, striking, and grappling. Grappling in this match has been virtually non-existent. They started on the mat, but they weren't there for long. So it's going to be aggressiveness and striking that will determine the judge's decision, which will come in 25 seconds unless we have a late knockout, a tap, or a stoppage which does not seem likely at this point. 15 seconds, you can make a statement here in the last bit of the fight to 
leave the impression with the judges it's the last thing they see. Dell trying to do just that. Down to the mat. He just wanted out of that potential choke. And this is the last thing the judges is going to see is Liddell striking Hernandez. And the horn has sounded. Get up, get up, get up. And the fight has come to an end. Done. Mouthpiece. And the judges will be forced over here. to render a decision. I can't hear anything. An alternate middleweight fight between Chuck Liddell. Stand up. One minute, Santa gentlemen. Barbara, California. Yeah, and Lansing, Michigan's Noe Hernandez, no the two-time Golden Gloves champion in the state of Michigan. Right. If I had a look at it, I'd give it to Chuck Liddell. That's it. Get good knees, good punches. The last thing that the judges saw was him striking Hernandez. Hernandez landed early, but he was inactive late in the fight. Both come away with souvenirs under their left eyes. Okay. Chuck hey, Liddell had been working with wrestlers to okay. avoid takedowns, but really that wasn't yours? on the mind of Noe Hernandez tonight. With such a strong ability no. No. to take a punch no. and also no. deliver a punch. This was a real battle on the feet. A fight unlike some that we have seen in the past. No, no. We'll find out together in the middle here in a minute. Stay there, I'll call you together. Come here, Noe. And the judges will stand render right a decision. Okay. okay, stand by. Let's get the official word from the judges as we move inside the octagon and hear it live with Bruce Buffett. Great job. Outstanding. At the end of 12 minutes, all three judges have made a unanimous decision for the winner, Chuck Liddell. Let's have a big hand. Chuck Liddell opens up his UFC career with a victory here in the middleweight alternate fight. Scoring the unanimous decision over Noe Hernandez.